Hello Leo and welcome to my channel. Today I'm doing the March 2021 general reading for you and I'm doing it a little bit differently this month. So this month I'm going to have your relationship sector over here and your career and money sector over here. I've already pulled some cards just to save time on shuffling and then we'll go ahead and clarify everything with the tarot. So let's jump right into it. So your overall energy, animal spirit energy for this month is the deer, which, you know, is kind of interesting because Leo, um, you know, you're just so bold and, you know, uh, really out there, kind of just very uh, vibrant, charismatic, social, right? And the deer, um, you know, the first thing I think of with the deer is just kind of bashful right? Um, kind of almost a little bit on the fearful side, but also very nurturing. And um, so I'm kind of with this, I'm starting, you know, I'm kind of getting, you may feel, I guess what I'm trying to say is you may feel like you're not really in your element right now, because to me, the deer is like the opposite of the lion, right? Um, this, you know, the deer is a little skittish, and the lion is definitely so powerful. So um, right off the bat, I'm kind of just wondering if maybe for some of you, it may not resonate with everybody, you may just feel like you're not in your element. The nice thing about the deer energy though is this nurturing sense. Um, and you could be just spending time nurturing yourself, taking good care of yourself, taking good care of your family, your friends, your loved ones. So that part is a really nice energy. Okay, so let's see what you have in your relationship sector. Distant thunder, clear the air. Um, okay, this card really talks about clearing out things in your life that no longer serve you. And since it's in your, you know, your relationship sector, this could be relationships that you need to clean out. Um, because in your own mind, you know intuitively that these people or situations, relationships are no longer serving you. And it's time to kind of move on or at least have those conversations with them, clearing the air between somebody, you know, um, having those heart to heart conversations. But, you know, this could be a little bit why you're in the deer element. And I think it's kind of interesting. There's a lot of green here and there's a lot of green, like she's wearing green and it, and the gender doesn't matter. But, you know, this is kind of like, um, and once again, gender doesn't matter, but I'm getting a, your, you know, your divine feminine within you. And we all have divine feminine and masculine. Your divine feminine may be really strong right now. Like you're really nurturing yourself. Um, really stepping into that, you know, um, like not taking action. I think normally, Leo, you are very, you know, active and, and getting out there. You take action very quickly. You know what you want. And the deer, you know, you may feel a little bit like I have to go within for a little bit and figure things out on my own. You know, like stay in my castle, stay hidden for a little bit. Okay, interesting energy. We're going to definitely clarify that. So this is the Twin Flame Oracle cards, which I love for all relationships, whether it's a twin or not. So chaser, in pursuit, convincing, rejection, let them go and let it be. Okay, so this really is speaking to this energy. There could be somebody in your life, and it could be romantic, friend, family, even a co-worker or something, somebody in your life that you may feel like you're kind of chasing them. You're wanting this relationship to go to the next level or go to a deeper connection, and you're feeling a little bit rejected, right? And it's like, let them go. Let them go. And if it's really meant to be, they will come in. They will come back to you. Okay, interesting. So let's see what your other card is. Hesitation, past heartbreak, broken trust, afraid to move forward. This really is speaking to this dear energy. Um, this is not like you, right, Leo? Like you're, you just move, you know, you're so strong, so confident. And, you know, something has happened, and I'm sorry about that, Leo. Um, it's definitely, you know, once again, this won't resonate with everyone, but if it is resonating for you, you are feeling, you know, a lot of heartbreak and, and rejection right now. 
you know, and you're not really sure which way to go. And, you know, that does help make you feel like you're not in your normal Leo, you know, um, personality. And this is spirit. Spirit is, you know, wanting you to know that to go ahead and let this relationship go and just see, like give it up, surrender it, allow your, you know, um, spirit angels to go ahead and, you know, help this situation heal in time. Um, and whether that is, you know, that you're going to go your separate ways forever, or if you just need time apart from each other to help heal individually and then come back together. But it's time to let this kind of go and to step back into this dear spirit of taking care of yourself um, and not being afraid to nurture yourself. You may be feeling kind of rejected right now and not sure that you're worthy of, of you know, taking care of yourself. But this is spirit coming in and saying, yes, let, let this situation go for now. It doesn't mean it's gone forever, but let it go for now and focus on yourself, nurturing yourself. All right. So in career and money, you have navigating by the stars. Follow your bliss. Wow. So they, I, I, there's a definite wanting, spirit is really wanting you to shift away from whatever this situation is right now to get into yourself and to focus on your career and money. And sometimes by taking our focus off of a certain, you know, relationship, what can we, what we do is we step into our career and money area and it helps us to heal as a whole, right? Um, and so this is really kind of a call for you to put this to the side and concentrate on this for right now. That th by doing that, it's going to, yes, they're telling me by doing, by stepping into your career um, and money sector, whatever that means for you, um, a new job, a new, you know, career, or just working on what you're doing right now, by stepping into that, you're going to help heal your heart space because follow your bliss. This is kind of like follow, follow your own heart, right? Heal your own heart. All right. So you have planning and action. Yeah, so if there's been, you know, like especially a new creative endeavor that you've been wanting to start or a new project, new, um, you know, just a, a, a new career, a new business, it's time to put your energy into planning and acting on that, what you have been wanting to grow. Very nice. Sacred temple. temple. Yeah, your spirit guides are with you. Um and they're wanting you to know that this is really going to help bring in the relationship that's really meant for you. Like this relationship, I think, may not, we'll have to see when we clarify, but for some of you, it may not return. It's something, you know, that you are moving away from. But by spending time navigating the stars and working on your career, you're actually going to bring in the true soulmate for you. Very interesting energy. Okay, Leo, we are going to go to the psychic tarot and clarify this, get you some um, advice about this situation. So I'm first going to look at the past and present energies, then your advice I mean, your obstacle and advice from spirit and then the outcome. So let's see what the past energy is. Past energy, please. Spirit, what past energy for Leo? Past energy. Okay, patience and planning. Okay, so in the past, this is a number seven too. This card has been coming out a lot. Um, this is spiritually divine. You know, like the divine timing, um, this situation, this relationship situation is definitely on your path. There is somebody you are meant to be with and, you know, you are going to be pillars standing next to each other, um, building a very strong foundation. And in the past, you may have been trying to plan with this person and being really patient um, and we're going to see, 
Okay, they want this one here, awareness, and it's in reverse. Yes, so you, um, your intuition was turned, you know, you weren't listening to your intuition is what they're telling me. You weren't listening to your intuition. You may have thought that this person was your person, but you weren't really listening to your intuition there. Okay, interesting. Okay, and then in the present, in the present, crown chakra. So you are getting enlightenment, and that really makes sense with your sacred temple here, right? Um, again, another seven. So you definitely need to know that this is on your spiritual journey, you know, that this whole situation with this relationship, and once again, it could be romance, family, friend, whatever it is, um, it's to help open up your crown chakra and to give you better awareness because in the past, you weren't, um, you know, you weren't maybe... Oh, okay. They're saying you weren't following your bliss. You weren't following your heart. You were concentrating too much on thinking about things, about trying to make a plan. And it could have been a plan that you didn't understand that somebody else, um, it wasn't their plan. Like you may have been doing the planning, but not been aware that they... Um, weren't going along with the plan. You know, there could have been a tower moment. She's, you know, standing in the tower, right? Um, you could have had a tower moment where they suddenly said, no, this is not my plan. I don't want to go in this direction. So your obstacle right now is movement, choices, decisions. You're kind of just not knowing where to go. Um, and that's why they're coming out really strongly and saying, focus on your career, focus on following your heart um, in your career sector. Leave this behind and go in this direction and you will, the, the choice will come to you. You know, you're, you'll get clarity about what direction to go in next. Authority. Okay, now this is the emperor energy and I think this is you, Leo. I'm so, I'm so glad to see this. This is you stepping back into your Leo. Um, you know, just like you need to take some time to nurture yourself. And then it's like you getting your groove back. Oh, I'm so excited. That is really um, a really nice energy. You just stepping back into your own power, knowing what it is that you want. Like right now, I think you're like, I had these plans. I thought everything was in place. And then the plans got disrupted, right? And this is you coming back into, okay, I'm just going to go follow my heart. I'm going to make my own new plan and take action on it. And I'm going to really, you know, listen to my spirit guides, listen to my intuition, listen to my heart. Oh, suffering in silence. So this is the nine of swords. And, you know, I really feel like, you know, it's a nine and you know, you may be, we're going to get a clarification on this, but I, it's not, it's, it's a good outcome, I think, because look at, she's at the top of this hill and she's looking over here, right at the sun coming up, like very soon, you are going to see the light about why this relationship had to, you know, put, be put on hold for a while, um, or, you know, to be left behind forever, um, I think I said nine of swords. This is really the nine of wands, but it's the same kind of energy. You know, the wounded warrior type of energy. You've been through the battle and now you're seeing the sun rise. It's very nice energy. Very nice. Okay, so let's clarify this past energy. Nine of wands. Interesting. You end with the nine of wands and you start with the nine of wands. You know, you could have been, I'm kind of getting a sense that you may have already kind of been through a cycle like this. For some of you, if you feel like you're repeating a pattern, um, it, it, it feels like for some of you that spirit is saying, you know, you're going to realize that you've repeated a pattern. And it could be a pattern that you're seeing in your relationship sector. 
um, you know, you may have been through something like this before and you're like, oh my goodness, I just cannot believe I'm here again. Like, I don't want to move forward. I don't want to love ever again because, you know, I, it's just always ends up in the same way. But the reason if that, if you're resonating with that is because you're not following your heart. You're not listening to your, your bliss. You're not listening to your intuition. Your, um, you, you, sometimes, you know, we get stuck on thinking that things have to happen in a certain, on a certain timeline or, you know, by a certain, um, in a certain way. And I guess that this is a spirit saying, no, you need to surrender and allow things to come in their own divine time. Okay, so... Oh, this is lovely. Yes. Oh, my goodness. And they're saying to me, yes, that you, you're you stepping back into your empress energy, your creative energy. You are getting ready to birth a new project or a new business or even a new belief system about who you are and why you're here. This is lovely energy. You're getting, you know, information through your intuition about what to create and how to go forth in the world. And this, if you follow this, uh, follow your bliss, I get the direct, you know, um, message that you will be breaking this pattern. You could have in the past, they're saying this to me, you didn't follow your bliss. You didn't, like you got an idea maybe for a creative project or for a job or a new business or something. And then, you know, someone would come on your path and you would think, oh, they're my soulmate. And you would chase after them. Um, you know, you would try to chase after love and you would put this on the back burner. And what they're saying to me is that this time you're going to stick with this this following your bliss, following your heart, doing this creative project. You're going to totally step into this empress and put the romance on the sideline for now and work on building this because what it's going to do is help you to become more empowered in yourself and then you are going to attract your true soulmate, your real soulmate. Oh, this is lovely. Okay, so for this two... Um, Two of Swords this is the Two of Swords. You have the Five of Cups. Yeah, so, you know, you're just, this is your, um, you know, your obstacle. And it's you kind of sitting in the Five of Cups energy, looking at what you have lost and watching, you know, like this water. She's tipping it over with her foot and watching the water kind of go down the drain, right? Like that's kind of like your hopes and dreams going down the drain. And you're concentrating on that. Um, but over here, look, there's the four cups here and this fifth cup right behind her, so close to her, is what her heart is really desiring. You know, following her heart, following her bliss. And what Spirit is saying is, hey, look, there's, you know, there's this cup over here that's so full. Look at all the different colors and the sparkle and the excitement within this cup. Like these four cups, don't worry about them. Come look at this cup we have over here for you. Because by doing that, you are going to step into, you know, a wonderful new positive energy that's really going to attract attract your true uh, soulmate or twin. And I think it's interesting because the colors in this bowl are also the colors that are over here. And these are all the choices. Like right now you're feeling like, I don't know what direction to go in. And this is what Spirit's saying. We're telling you, follow your bliss, follow your heart. You know, you have a creative idea, go for it. You want to start a new business, go for it. Because by doing that, you're going to get your, your mojo back. <laughs> you know, you're, you're going to step back into your energy, Leo. You're not going to be the deer anymore. There's nothing wrong with the deer, but I just really feel like you're not feeling like yourself right now. That's the message I'm kind of getting. 
Three of Pentacles. Yes. So this is lovely. Like you're going to step into your power. You're, you know, you're going to be the emperor. You're going to be the leader and you're going to find the right people to work with. You're going to bring in a new soul tribe for you. So people or a person that you're having to leave behind, do not worry because you are attracting in the people that you are going to work with. And I believe you know, that you're going to kind of be the leader, like you're going to work well with these people, but you're also going to be a leader. And that is why spirit is saying, we need you to follow your bliss. Because listen, Leo, we have something that we need for you to do to help us. This is part of your sacred spiritual journey. And we need you to step into this leadership role. We have something that, you know, um, is going to be the good for the world, for the collective. And it's because you are following your bliss. Listen to your intuition. If you're not sure right now which act, you know, way to go, just quiet your mind. Meditate. Uh, get into that dear energy for a little bit, right? Um, just quiet your mind and listen to your heart. And you will get the next step. You may not know the whole plan. You may not know the end result. But you will get the next step to take. Oh, four of swords. This is so nice. Yes, you're going to have healing. You're going to see the light. You are, you know, you, you have been wounded. Okay? But you're not down and out. And you're healing from this situation. And, you know, with... um. We gain so much wisdom from pain. So whatever you have been through is going to bring you into a much, um, much higher um, uh, wisdom, knowledge, consciousness. And I'm going to get two more for this Four Swords, please. Oh, nice. Knight of Pentacles. Oh, Eight of Cups. Yes. So, you know, you are, you're going to be walking away from the past. I really think you're walking away from this situation. And, you know, the Knight of Pentacles is your true soulmate coming towards you. Um, and it may take a little time. The Knight of Swords is a slow moving um, energy. But what Spirit is saying is, yeah, that's why we want you to just like put romance on the back burner for now. Concentrate on this. By concentrating on this, you are going to bring in your Knight of Pentacles. Somebody that is grounded and nurturing and, you know, able and willing and committed to being on the path with you. This is so lovely. So lovely. Okay, so let's get to the Creativity Oracle. I love these cards. And Leo, if you are enjoying this reading, I would really appreciate it if you would like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Um, it really does help me to get my message of light and love out into the world. And I appreciate any and all support that you can give for my channel. All right, so here's your Creativity Oracle card. I love this. You know, I'm really being called that, you know, this is kind of like you and your new soulmate. Very nice. Free associate. Allow the first thing that comes into your mind without self-censorship to bestow a vision upon you. Oh my gosh, I'm getting goosebumps because this is this is you following your bliss. And you know how I was telling you to just quiet your mind, um, perhaps meditate or walk in nature, however you quiet your mind, um, to definitely do that. And then you will get the next step that you're supposed to take. Do not worry, you know, that you don't know what direction to go in. Do not worry about that. That your spirit guides are going to, you know, lead you in the direction. Here's your guides. And they're like, just follow your bliss. Follow the stars. And we will help you. And we'll just, you may just get one step at a time. But just to listen to that. Like you don't really have to have the whole picture. They're really trying to let you know that. You do not need to know the whole picture. All right. And now I'm going to give you an angel message to finish this out 
Oh, this is so lovely. And I know, you know, for some of you, you may be going through, you know, those feelings of heartbreak and stuff. But by concentrating on this, you will move out of that energy and into um, a, a much more abundant and loving energy for yourself and for, you know, every for life, for everyone in your life. Lovely energy. Okay, prayer. Dear God, help me always to remember that this present life is but a fleeting moment within eternity. Help me always to remember that this life is but a dream. Help me always to remember that you exist within everyone and everything. Help me always to remember that love is all there is and all else is an illusion. Thank you. And I do feel like your angels want you to know that, that, you know, if you're still kind of a little bit in a sad energy um, not to worry that this is just a fleeting moment right and once you step into this lovely new future of yours you're going to look back and, and realize that you know this situation was only there to help bring you into this you're going to gain the wisdom that all things happen for a reason and um, and that they, you know, when something leaves our life, it's only to make room for something even better. Well, I'm going to leave it there. I do wish you lots of love and light in this situation, Leo, and all your situations. Bye for now.